Mama Tea, can you tell us about the most common social issues in your country, Tanzania? The most common uh, social issues in Tanzania are based on education, health, unemployment, and unprivileged groups. To start with health, we have uh, many people um, who have been affected by HIV AIDS and uh, they are not able to access the medication or to get the support which is required in the society. Um, the hospitals are very few and um, doctors, nurses are also not enough to meet uh, these groups. In the education, we don't have enough schools, we don't have enough resources. Also, the teachers are not enough to meet all kids who are supposed to be in schools and uh, be educated. We have social groups of youth, women or children who are unprivileged. And the community is not able to support all these groups. Hence, um, some of NGOs and uh, um, uh, other development, developmental groups eh, have tried to support these groups, although they cannot uh, meet all uh, these disadvantaged groups. Unemployment is rapid. Our population right now is about 46 million, and the government cannot provide all required resources to them for basic, basic uh, living, good living conditions. You find that uh, most people are moving from uh, um, a village to cities or towns, uh, hoping that they can have good life. However, it causes more problems as um, there is no enough job in the cities and uh, um, towns for them. So the, I think these are a few of uh, social problems in Tanzania. So how have CCS volunteers been involved in addressing these issues? Uh, CCS volunteers have been very helpful to participate uh, in addressing uh, social issues in Tanzania by working with uh, groups in Tanzania who are addressing uh, social problems either in schools or hospitals or the ma marginalized groups who have been together, joint efforts working together to address the issues. For example, when volunteers come to Tanzania, we assign them uh, to schools and uh, participate in teaching um, help teachers as well to, to teach kids English and um, also address the issues of um, sports like or socialization um, and in schools. In the community, as we have uh, people who have been affected by HIV AIDS, we do have those uh, people who cannot go to the hospital, or they are living with families, so volunteers will be uh, visiting them. Uh, we call these uh, home visits and help the f families and uh, social workers uh, who are helping these uh, patients to either to do exercise, physical exercise, or to feed them, wash them. Um, basically, that's how they, they support the, the, the HIV AIDS uh, patients. In the issue of unemployment, as I said earlier, um, these, these social groups, the CBOs, community-based organizations and NGOs, have come together to find out what they can do to raise funds and uh, you know, be able to improve their lives in their families. So volunteers mostly will be participating and helping them to continue uh, working with the economic activities that they have already um, planned to do. Um, as of the uh, people who are moving from uh, uh, villages to cities and they don't have jobs, uh, there are groups, uh, of especially youth, they are trying to be innovative, to maybe to have a vocational uh, work, a vocational 
uh, groups to work to work on themselves and um, raise some funds. So volunteers are participating. They don't come to start like new groups or whatever, but they participate with these groups who are already set in towns and cities. You have been working with CCS International Volunteers since 2003. Uh, what types of changes have you seen in your community? Uh, there are so many changes in our community. In the first place, when we started working with uh, volunteers in this area, many people did not understand why volunteers uh, were here. Uh, so now they know exactly that volunteers are here to support the initiatives of the community. They are not here to give money or material. Um, that challenge has really, really uh, improved. Uh, the donation policy is helping very much as the um, uh, NGOs and CBOs um, uh, initially believed that um, development cannot come without material and money from abroad or from uh, donors. But now they know that um, the services from volunteers are as good as money and material. Um, that's very good improvement uh, and I'm happy with it in our own society. Another change is also like uh, the spirit of volunteering. Uh, when volunteers are working with our people in the society, especially teachers, um, they, they are also motivated to do uh, more work without being paid, knowing that um, uh, if uh, someone from abroad can come here and volunteer, I also have a responsibility as a Tanzanian to volunteer, which is very good. Um, another change is um, the children. In schools, um, the enrollment was very poor. Uh, nowadays, it's very interesting to, to learn that um, or to hear that uh, more kids are enrolling in schools because they know that uh, we ha there are volunteers in class who are really committed and responsible of teaching English. They are really keen to learn, learn, learn English. And so parents are happy about it and uh, they appreciate the work of uh, volunteer yeah, through CCS. Um, other changes too is um, about the uh, support from from the community which is surrounding us, especially the home base. Yeah, so it, we are not in this area alone as just CCS. We are now part and parcel of the community. <coughs> so the the big support, especially security, we receive from uh, from this society is m mostly appreciated. That's a big change uh, you know, compared to when we started working here more than. I mean, almost 10 years ago. If you could only give one tip to volunteers, what would it be? My tip to volunteers would be, don't anticipate, just participate. What I mean by this is that um, when volunteers come to the country to volunteer, they should not have a lot of expectations. Um, we, the culture is very different, the environment is very different, people are so different. But they should also realize that there is something for them that has been prepared or is ongoing. So, and they have to be ready to, to uh, participate and share their experiences and skills and respect exactly what is going on in the community.